hello hello welcome back today we want to learn about you know converting 3d models to 5m props it's about only props do not include mlos okay if you want mlos i can create a different video for that but today we just gonna learn how to like convert any 3d model to 5m ml ready okay so basically we have to like i will the new screen okay just delete all these okay and then go to your sketch fab any okay i have searched this very recently okay i have downloaded from this site i personally love this site so we just gonna extract that file <laughs> okay we have the F fbx files and the texture i don't need any textures i will like i will i will teach you how to add your custom texture okay so just hide your blender ah and we have also a blender kit you can extract like table from here also yeah see this table or you can extract any tables models from this you can just this here and add this and hide this so here's your table material okay so just delete this for now everything now just add your file how to add your file go to file import and here fbx file then go to your directory and workbench sources workbench 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 fbx so you just basically load your okay you can guess now just increase press s and you can just resize it okay this is enough for uh, yes this is enough okay then go to your this arrow and add your solos plugin click drawables create drawables object and always remember to click auto embedded collision only for prop okay click on convert to drawables now you have like the a full hierarchy about this now go to this this bench model not collision version go to general vertex painter and paint it red now you have to go to bench collision drop down it uh, where it is like in bvh go to the collision flag presets and apply the flag presets okay or first of all you can do is that click on poly mesh uh, create collision material like i have to give it wood i just simply search wood okay now it's a solid medium wood now create collision material now you have got the collision material okay now you can click on bvh apply flag now collision work is done totally okay now we have to add texture it to it uh there are two three methods of adding texture okay uh, go to go to drawables go to shader tools now we have like different option we can use default create shader materials okay and we have like for the mlos one i use this normal spec yeah here yeah, normal spec but today if we just do the normal one default one okay now go to this select your material type now we just have to delete these materials this default material okay now we have the default materials just hide the collision okay just hide the collision was <laughs> you can see now go to this view importing shading now this 
सो हेयर बेसिकली इट इज वर्ड इट इज इट इज लाइक यूर अभी यू हैव डिफॉल्ट ब्लैक नाइ जस्ट गो टू शेडिंग टूल जिन्स सर्च फॉर एयर या डिफ्यूज सेलेक्टेड uh do i have any shaders like yeah i have wooden shader okay now you can see this is this is brown now now go to layout over there okay this is brown now just go to data and in uv map select it oh okay this is perfect you are selecting this perfect uh sorry for the okay so this is ready is this is completely fine i'm ready now just just it's your work done here just unhide the workbench collision now just simply go to your architect definition type plus this give it to your name like testing underscore table set it as base and auto create it okay you don't have to write anything on any okay now oh my bad i just forgot to tell you that whenever you just add these uh in your models add your uh, faders just always remember to like convert all materials and set texture all embedded okay now it's like everything has done now this and at this uh, yeah testing table regenerate it select it regenerate it yeah here the here you have not the texture dictionary okay lod means like from far, how far you can see it's basically default but we going to change it in code walker so it is like always for and just remember in flags static means the prop the entity you you will spawn in the world will not move and if you uh, unselect it the property will uh, the entity will move so just select it static archetype now you just have to export it uh, i'm going to export it in a desktop in new folder is testing underscore table okay now now select whole hierarchy right click it select hierarchy press v export code worker xml go to the testing table and export it now okay now your blender work has been done just now go to code worker and yep the code worker has on the code to the location you want to spawn it like i will go to a place like um, del peru still pero here and now uh very still pero yep got that thing okay, i just near the del pero parking very still pero parking ah uh, yeah yeah so just go to first we have to convert it for we go to exp rpf explorer okay just open the files in your background your smart testing tables for which recording na just right click it open the rpf explorer go to modes so i have created this folder just for this yeah go to uh, click on edit mode yes now select both of these workbench and testing table and drag it to this folder and it it will convert both here just check you can check it out okay, so how much it's clearly visible this You don't have to do anything. Just select these both, drag it to your original folder. Now just cross it, cross this also. T, open that folder. Downloads. Testing tables. Select folder. Yeah. Now just click on this new IMF file. Don't rename any new entity. Now just what check your YDR or YTYP in archetype. Check your workbench. Now just name copy it. Just paste it on the new entity you have spawned. 
there and you got your table right now so here's your table you can like select it anything you can do want to do with it it's totally your choice i think i just add this here now i don't have to do anything just have to allocate distance increase it to 1000 it's, it's totally on your choice and remember to change it in uh yt yp files it changes to 1000 let's go to this file i'll save as yes now save the new i'm a bit save it just go to ymap uh, tools manifest generator now if you go to just channel click on generate save manifest just save it you have done everything yeah you have done everything just cross it now let's go to the game and see the what have so as we are inside of the inside the server let's go to the location quickly and see what's happened again yeah. it is still Three is the yeah you can adjust the height whichever I have make it bigger yes and here you can't like move it because we set it on static so that's for the video guys bye bye take care uh which can do this wait I am Okay, I have not downloaded the packs. Okay, my bad. Bye bye, guys.